No, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about Trump right now. Mm-hmm. Um, you're right. Like, does he love the mainstream media? Yes, of course. I mean, he loves to shine. He loves to do battle. You know, debates. He he seemed in his element. His yeah. skin looked good. He looked young. You know what I mean? Um, he didn't look bad. He looked, not like we watch it by and just decay before our eyes, right? Right. But CNN, man, somebody said like, oh, CNN, CNN got wrecked tonight, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, CNN are laughing all the way to the bank. To the man. bank. <laughs> to the bank. You know how much money they was making when Trump was in office? Just to give you an idea, they lost 50% of ratings when he left. No, 100%, not 100%, but 50%. Yep. That's one of the only reasons in the back of my mind that, like, they could, in theory, they could be like, man, fuck it, let's get Trump back. We need to make some of this money back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got to get back. Trump is the stimulus package. I told people that. My life changed during the Trump era. I think if it wasn't for Trump, I might still be broke. So, you know, CNN is is just profiting just as much uh, from this exposure as Trump is, you know? Um, but now, would it, like, so what, would it benefit Trump to go to Rumble and talk? Would it benefit him to like go to on these smaller platforms. Like, I don't know. I don't think so because they like I think people in Rumble already fuck with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, and he's not gonna draw the haters. See, that's the thing about Trump. The haters love watching. Right. Like all those people that said, Oh, I can't stand CNN for doing this and this, that, and the third, they watched it. You watched it. These normies watched it. Yes, they did. It's mad as hell. See, he gets both sides, you know what I'm saying? The people that love him, the people that hate him. Yeah. Yeah. Um Rage Clicks. <clears throat> oh, Rage Clicks um tuned in. But um I think it's a brilliant play, right? Because CNN yeah. is sort of positioned as the antithesis to the Trump brand to conservatism. So the fact that he took an interview with CNN right there alone, that's headlines. From the moment he announced it, the griff two X'd. Okay. The griff force two X'd. I knew right when he announced it, what the program for my show, the griff report was going to be the next day. I just knew it. I knew it. So the headline, Trump and CNN itself, is big money. If he did Fox, do you think he gets as many viewers? If he does Rumble, Daily Wire, you think it gets me? No, it's the fact that he talked to his enemy in a town hall is what draws the clicks. And it, I think it was very genius of him to, to accept that. Also, I think the way he handled the interview masterclass absolute masterclass this trump is better than the old trump you know I, I think he's gotten a lot of experience i think he learned a lot from his mistakes from his first uh run at president i think he learned some mistakes from losing an election and now this is basically like his third go so he's a pro now he's 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 in his junior year so he's not he's not unfamiliar with the campus anymore. You know? He knows all the nooks and crannies of the campus. And he's able to navigate it better than anybody. And it's a good thing they're not gonna have debates because I think this time if Trump were to debate Biden, it would be a clear landslide. Yeah. Um do you think CNN or or did you think it was like did CNN put a mistake, make a mistake having that 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 white lady that that uh that white lady like be so aggressive and you know talking to him and asking questions and badgering him uh, basically? 
Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was wondering how much of that was seen in her earpiece and how much of it was her. Right. I'm still unsure because they're one in the same. Um, but she was rude. She was unproductive to the conversation. Like even on the Ukraine question, she was like caught up on what he said about Democrats. And it's just like, we could really get to the root of, cause when he asked him, the girl asked him, would you still support Ukraine in the war? Trump never answered that question. Right. And what did the lady say? The CNN lady, she said, wait, Democrats never said that. And I'm like, out of all things, you could have said, Trump, you didn't answer the question. Can you answer the question? She could have doubled down on that, but she was so concerned with fact checking him that she never really got to the root or the premise of these questions to really draw out some good content. So, you know, if I were to grade her, I'd give her a D. I think she did a poor job. Um, even in the eyes of a, of a blue, even though in, even in the eyes of a blue, white or a blue, black, I think she did a poor job. Um, and, and Trump owned it. He owned the whole situation. He owned her, made her look stupid, made her look brash and ridiculous and, and, and really shined. Even, even Sean King said it. Is that what he said? You didn't see what Sean King said? No. Dog. Sean King said, um, said Trump won. Let me pull the tweet up. I'll show you what it said. Because I'm blocked. You know, because me and Sean King, we don't get along. I'm a real nigga. Um... So Sean King says, I'm going to say the hard thing here. Uh, pause. Uh, Donald Trump has crushed this town hall for his base. The audience loves him and loves his answers. He is able to spin the questions however he wants and always pivots back to making his record sound amazing. It's a win-win. Hashtag CNN town hall. 